Whew, it's been a while since I've made a video and um, yeah, I am here. I'm gonna make a video and um, just to catch you guys up on where I've been, I've taken some time off, as you guys already know, to focus on motherhood, to focus on life, to focus on my role as a mom of two little ones, two boys, three years old and a one-year-old and a husband. We've been married now for four years. So it's been a journey, guys, a lot of pouring myself into my family. That's been my, that's been my ministry lately and I had to take a step aside from making YouTube videos as much as I missed it. I had to realize that my family needed me and I felt like the Lord was calling me to pour into my family, to pour into motherhood and to being a wife. And with that said, I do feel like in this new season of life that I'm entering, things are getting a lot easier for me as a mom, as a wife. Um, I'm learning new routines, I'm learning what works, what doesn't, and I am going to try my best <laughs> to make time to make YouTube videos, and um, my goal is to have a video out on weekends. I would love to have a video out for you guys either Saturdays or Sundays. They're not going to be very fancy, they're not going to be very edited, they're going to be straight to the point. Um, I'm a busy mom, but... I still want to do YouTube. I love, 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 love this community. I love each and every one of you that have supported me throughout this YouTube journey. You guys have literally become family to me and I will love to continue to have that with you guys. I definitely want to continue doing um, lives. I loved interacting with you guys live one-on-one. -on -one, so I will be doing that. So keep an eye on that either next week following. So yes, I want to catch you guys up on a little bit on like where I've been. And uh, I will say this, aside from, you know, learning how to mother, be a mother, and aside from like focusing on being a mother and a wife, I have been going through some personal issues in my life, guys, where I... I can truly say that the enemy, the devil, was trying to destroy me, destroy my relationship with God, was trying to pretty much kill me, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, but praise God, the devil did not prevail. There are some things um, that happened to me that really affected my spiritual, mental, physical, every aspect. Um... And it's been a hard journey. And that's why I stopped making YouTube videos. I had to focus on healing. I had to focus on surviving. Each day was literally, literally just trying to get through the day. And um, yeah, I, I can say guys with all honesty that the devil did try to destroy me. My character, who I am, I don't want to get into details on what what happened, but just know that I was tested severely in my life. Um, it's something that I'm still working through. I'm still trying to rebuild. I'm still trying to get back to a place where I feel genuinely happy. But I'm taking it day by day. As time has gone by, I've been a lot better. I feel like the Lord has definitely 100% been the reason why I'm now able to do this video. God is so real. God is so good. I know for a fact he's been the one to heal me in this process. And I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys and let you know that just because we're Christians doesn't mean bad things are not going to happen to us. We're not going to fall out of love for the Lord. Like, you know, when you're first Christian, you have that fire, fire for the Lord and you're very passionate. Well, as Christians, we do have seasons. We will be passionate and then things will happen. But then God is so faithful. He will help us rise back up. 
And I feel like I'm in that season right now where he's helping me to rise back up. It's been a while since I felt even his presence, if I'm being completely honest. I've been so um, torn down that I was just in survival mode. My last thought was God, but I knew as a Christian, having the Holy Spirit within me, my spirit would cry out to God, God help 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 and every day he made it that much more readily to help me does that make sense he was there to uplift me even when i didn't feel it or i didn't see it he was pushing me through and now i'm seeing it more and by me healing and even making this video it's evidence that he is good and he has been helping me and i want to encourage you guys because a lot of christians will go through things and they're like, well, I thought being a Christian was like, you know, now you have this shield and nothing bad can happen to you. And, you know, it's not, that's not realistic. While we're in this world, guys, we're going to go through a lot of things that are painful and hurtful and trauma. And that's just the way this fallen world is. But as Christians, we need to cling on to his promise. And we got to understand that this world we're living in is just temporary and once we get to heaven, we're not going to have any more pain or fear or trauma. We're going to have a brand new life, a new body. We're going to spend in our entire eternity in glory. And that's what helps me to push through. And um, if you're going through something, guys, just know that. Just pray. Just pray. Say, Lord, help. Even if you don't have the right words, he knows your soul. He knows your heart. He's inside of you. He knows what you're feeling. Just say, help just help me, Lord. And I'm telling you guys, like, that's what's helped me. Um, without going into much details, I've been going through a lot. I've been through some serious trauma and um, very personal stuff. Stuff that I don't really want to talk about. But some trauma has happened in my life. And I've been dealing with it, guys, for, I would say, almost three years and it's been a struggle. And I went from being the super <laughs> confident, strong, that I thought I was strong person to a very, no, like I had no confidence, very depressed and postpartum didn't help along the way. But God is good. I'm here guys, I wanna encourage you. I'm gonna stick to God or he's going to stick with me because he's never left me even though I dropped the ball and wasn't pursuing him the way that I should he's never left me and he's so good and gracious but I still want to come on here guys and like talk to you guys do lives fellowship um, make videos to uplift you doing this channel was one of my biggest one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, if I'm being completely honest, aside from becoming a wife and mom. Um, I loved how much I've been able to encourage you guys and uplift you and just share about the gospel and share about like Jesus and end times and all, all that stuff makes me so happy. And I've taken time to heal and reflect and realize like what is it that I truly want and that is to come back to YouTube and yeah, no, I'm not a pastor. I'm, I don't know a lot about the Bible. I have like Bible verses right here pulled up on my computer. I don't have all these memorized, but I do know that I do love the Lord and he loves me and I am passionate for him. And that's all that matters. So if you're out there and you're listening and you feel like, how can you be used? Even in your broken nature, in your broken season, he can use you. Um, ugh. I just felt the Holy Spirit as I was talking. And he just reminded me of uh, of something that that happened while I was in deep depression. And uh, me and my husband were out. And um, we were out eating. This is all glory to him. I'm not trying to boast or anything like that. But I feel like the Holy Spirit was reminding me of how he uses us during broken times. So my husband had taken me to this restaurant to eat. And um, I walked to the bathroom or to get some condiments. And I passed by this uh, lady and I saw her 
We didn't think anything of it. But then the Holy Spirit spoke really strongly at that moment in my broken nature, right? Here I am not thinking about God, still in my depression. And um, this, I walked by this lady who was working really hard, like putting plates away. And the Holy Spirit was like, go talk to her. And I was like, oh my goodness, Lord, like, I don't know why I need to talk to her. He's like, go talk to her and go speak to her. And then I went back to the table where my husband was and I said, babe, like, I feel like God wants me to go talk to this lady. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, well, then go talk to her. And I told him, like, I felt like she was really struggling. Like the Lord put a, uh, this urgency um, to talk to her and bless her. So I said, I feel like the Lord wants me to bless her. Like I, he needs me to bless her. And I, he's like, well, what do you think you should do? And, you know, and I grabbed some cash out of my bag and I went up and took it to her and I told her Jesus loves you and he sees you. Oh my gosh. And that lady just gave me the biggest hug. It was such a cool moment. Um, thank you, Lord, for using me in that broken time. Like I was broken right? I was going through my depression, but yet the Lord still used me in that moment. And it was such a powerful moment. And um, yeah, that lady gave me a great big hug. And I told her, you know, Jesus loves you. And she shared with me that she was going through some stuff, financial stuff, and she was sending money back to her country to help a family member with uh, surgery. And all glory to God, he used me in that broken moment to bless this lady and we both were blessed because then she came back to my table after we had that moment where she gave me a hug and I went back to sit down. She came back to me and, and said some really beautiful things to me where it uplifted me. And it made me realize that God sees us in our broken times. He sees us when things are just not going the way that we think. We think that God has left us because things are really hard or things have not gone our way or we're not seeking him the way we used to but he's with us at all seasons all times of our lives so that's the beauty about christianity it's not always going to be rainbows and butterflies he will use you as a broken vessel he will use you at your highest moments in your life he will use you when he sees fit and that's the beautiful thing about having a relationship with god so yeah, even though the devil tried to destroy me, um, it's been amazing to see how God has used me in those moments of brokenness. And it was just a cool feeling, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to read some Bible verses that will encourage you guys, if you are going through anything in your life, just know that he sees you. He He's there. He's not going anywhere. We're the ones that are probably distance ourselves from him. But he's never going to leave us. He's there. So um, a Bible verse that I love to read is um, 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. So we, as Christians, we need to build each other up. We need to stay in communication. We need to, even when life kicks us down, we need to continue that journey of building one another and it's just so important we need to build up the church we need to build up one another because when i'm down right you're up and then when you're up i'm down so we'll help each other and then another bible verse that i really love is psalms 34 4 i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears so you just need to reach out to him and he will deliver you from your fears. Whatever it is that you're going through, he's there. He's just waiting for you to say something, pray, cry out to him. Um, another thing that really helped me through my season is playing sermons in the background. So as a busy mom in my muumuu with my hair up, no makeup, just surviving, I just play sermons, you know, to encourage me. A lot of sermons that I like to listen is uh, to is Charles Stanley. So he has like this live um, YouTube channel. So I'd be like, Lord, speak to me. And then whenever I would hit play, like the live um, sermons that 
they have on there, that moment, that specific sermon that was playing in that specific moment would speak to my soul deeply. And I, there I am scrubbing pots and pans and, you know, feeling that routine of life that, you know, but God is there with us. Like he's speaking to us no matter what. So just reach out to him. Um, if you're a busy mom, whatever season life in life you're in, just make sure you're you're thinking of God and say, Lord, help me and help me to be a vessel and help and bless others. Help me not to focus on my pain alone, but but, but, to, but also to be able to help others in that pain, in that season that they're going through. It's not just about us. So I feel like that's what the Lord has been teaching me is to like focus not just on my pain and what I'm going through, but others and try to like fit in whenever you can that relationship with God. Doesn't matter how busy we get, just while you're showering, put on a sermon, like put your phone right by your shower. If you're doing the dishes, you know, cooking, whatever it is, put on a sermon, play some worship music. We, we have to fight the good fight as Christians. There's gonna be hard times in our lives, but God is good, guys. And he's there. He's waiting. Just because you went through something or you stopped seeking him. If you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he's there in your heart. And he's just waiting for you to open up and allow him to help you, to heal you, to encourage you. So with that said, guys, um, let me know if there's anything that you guys have been going through lately. Let me know in the comments. I want to be praying for you guys as well. We need to be uplifting each other, edifying one another. And my goal is to continue to make YouTube videos. That is my what I would love to do as a mom, as a wife. Um, I'm not working now in this season of life. I, my focus is my family, my boys. But I would love nothing more than to come here and make uh, somewhat of a career by giving you guys like free videos and sharing the gospel I want to come on here once a week and just share what the Lord's been teaching me and encouraging. I feel like that's what the Lord has been putting in my heart to do is to come back and just simply encourage. And I don't need to know a lot of philosophy and Bible study. I don't need to go to Bible college. I just know that I love the Lord and I love you guys and I want to encourage when I can and how I can. So please be on the lookout for videos from me either Saturdays or Sundays. Um, you will be seeing on the weekends at least one video a week, Lord willing. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down the, uh, below how you guys been. I miss you guys. I hope you guys are encouraged and doing well. And I will see you in my next video.